Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are Bars and Barbells. I am Sam. This is my lovely co-host, Phil. I'm the lovely co-host today. <laughs> Stole it. Little role reversal today. We got the Jack from Jamie's request. ACDC has been fire on the channel thus far. They have. I absolutely love them. So do I. And we uh, have not really had any exposure to the Jack. No idea what to expect with this one, but that's nope. the case for most of ACDC. For me anyways, you have heard some of it from Guitar Hero and all that stuff. Yeah, my dad too. So Yeah, um, but there was a lot of songs you really, you know, had maybe heard you know, here and there, but really hadn't got a lot of exposure to it. Yeah, yeah, like in-depth right? listening or anything. For me, yeah. different story. I've been blown away by ACDC. Um, but anyways, we're doing a live version of this one, 2001 in Munich. This would be, we've done the River Plate one, which is 2008. So this would be a little bit earlier, probably good to see how they sounded live a little bit earlier. Before. Yeah, The 2008 cool. one, they're a little bit, you know. Older. Into their career at yeah, the latter sure. stages, right? So This will be interesting. Yeah, anyways. No idea. Oh, the Jack, do you remember what that means? <laughs> a venereal disease. Yes, yeah, also called the clap in some other areas of the world. Um, yeah, so um, let's see what it <laughs> should be interesting. Yeah, see what what they're going to talk about related to that. Are you ready? I am. Are let's you ready? Do it. Let's roll. We're going to do, uh, do a song everybody knows. I'm sure. It's a song about a. It's a song about a dirty woman. Oh. Come on, she was dirtier than that cat! <laughs> In fact, she was one sick bitch! I couldn't put that better myself. <laughs> it's a song called The Jack! Everybody sing with us! Come on! Yes, sir! I'm going down for the 
ask for some stereo sound here. I can't believe how loud they are. Like that's crazy. The audience. Oh yeah, they're they're chanting it hard. Yeah. I just cannot believe they made a song like this. I know. <laughs> like it just blows my mind. Number one, that they made a song called "The Jack" and have it was hard to hear the lyrics in that verse component. What he yeah. was saying, I don't the first know if time, you caught. Like, you know, yeah. I, like a little bit, I caught a little bit about like being on a clinical list or something like that, <laughs> and like a couple punchlines in there. Yeah, but I didn't catch a lot of it. It was just hard in the live version to, to bring it all in. I mean, obviously the the hook is pretty self explanatory. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I just can't believe that they made a song like this, and then on top of that, they have everybody chanting it <laughs> <laughs> at their concert. She yeah. got the jack. Like, oh my gosh. The bits and pieces I picked up were like in the beginning, it sounded like he was saying that like he was with a girl and she had said that she was a virgin, but he didn't know that she was like friendly with everybody. Mm. And it turned out she was like on a, like went to a clinic or was on a clinical list or something. And then that turned out she had the jack. So he's clearly not too happy with this girl. Yes. (laughs) It seems like he was deceived thinking that she wasn't sleeping around and she was, and then she gave him this yes situation a little bit of an issue yes um okay so you caught a lot more than i did um clearly but uh (laughs) yeah i like i said i just couldn't couldn't can't believe that they made a song like this and um you know you have the audience just going off and clearly they know it so i guess it must be a relatively popular song if they're performing it at their concert Mm -hmm. for acdc fans right yeah yeah. um and they clearly (laughs) clearly are into it. it um but uh, I would hate to be the person that he was talking about, knowing that if this, it is in is a uh, uh, true uh, story, if it is indeed a true story, yeah. then um, yeah, that would be a little bit embarrassing for that individual. But yeah, um, yeah. all right, you ready to see what else they're gonna <laughs> yeah, do here? <laughs> Thank you, sir. 
It was definitely an electric atmosphere for sure. Let's see, let's see if they just it over. Yeah, it was definitely an electric atmosphere in there, you know, packed house in Germany. Yeah, honestly, I feel like all their concerts are just like insane energy. They probably are, but we don't have evidence because we haven't seen them all. No. But uh, we've seen two, and both of those were wild. Well, that's funny too because um, Angus he was ripping that too. Like I really like that portion of this song. Um, you know, killing the the guitar solo there. Yeah. Um, but I was just gonna say, you see him doing the same thing as he was doing in River Plate. He's literally wearing the same outfit, <laughs> hopping along the stage, and and you know doing the same thing. You know, eight years later or whatever yeah. it was, right? Yeah, yeah, same kind of like vibe, personality and vibe. Yeah, yeah, definitely looked a little bit younger, but yes. um, that looked similar. Like you said, it was a packed house and yeah, at River Plate. I think that was in Argentina. This one's in Munich in Germany. So um, you know, clearly they're showing off. They're a worldwide. Oh yeah, band. so internationally now. Um, um, totally, you know, enthralled with, you know, the performance in terms of the, the audience was just, you know, locked in, loving it. And he, I think he said there, he was like, that's the best we've ever heard. Yeah. And everybody getting involved. So that was really cool. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Like, I like seeing them live because like you said, the the crowd is so into the mm-hmm. concert, uh, which is just brings the energy that much more. And it sounded really crisp too. Yeah. Like I said, I, I had a little bit harder of a time picking up some of the lyrics just cause we've never even heard the song before. Exactly. Yeah. So obviously it's a little bit more challenging, but I did think that the overall like quality of their performance sounded really good. Yeah. I thought it was really crisp. I mean, that's the only thing with the lyrics that you might not pick up as much, but yeah. you know, I think some of that too is just sorry to cut you off. Some of that is that his voice too is unique, right? Mm -hmm. And he's in this like higher pitch. Sometimes it's harder to. But still some raspiness to it, right? So that's what I think sometimes makes it hard to make out what he's saying. Um, I will say all, you know, all that I just said um, for like the songs that we've done from ACDC, I would say this is probably one of my less favorite ones Mm -hmm. um, just because I feel like the other ones, they're not all, like most of them haven't been, you know, blowing me away with you know the complexity of the song like they're usually not simple but they're just really hard hitters with a lot of energy right and i felt like this one it was kind of like that but it had a little less energy and it was a little less substance to the song in terms of what it meant obviously yeah yeah from it's the more like a standpoint. fun it's song. a fun comedic song yeah. right but i feel like you know when we did back in black for example i liked the lyrics in that one mm-hmm. so that stood out to me and that was a little bit different uh, when we did thunderstruck obviously you know that one was just crazy hook you know crazy guitar riffs nice solo in there so i think like this one it wasn't bad it was a you know good song but i just thought the other ones have been great and absolutely fantastic but obviously this is not as popular as those ones so that's probably why yeah and i think this is also from a different time period right because all of those ones we just talked about are from the same album and this one's from a different album so like who knows where like how that fits in yeah i'm not really totally familiar on their catalog but anyways it was a cool cool performance that we saw uh, thank yeah. you for that recommendation jamie we got to know a little bit more about acdc and the fact that they had the jack and uh you know that you didn't catch that joke did you no what did you say i said the fact that acdc had the jack <laughs> i'm curious to know if this is like actually based on a true story i would or, assume it probably or is. they just like thought it'd be catchy uh, i don't know you got to be kind of weird to make a song about somebody catching the jack if you hadn't had some experience <laughs> fair with it. fair Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed our reaction. Nonetheless, to ACDC, the Jack, uh, if you did, hit the like button for us. And make sure you subscribe to the notification bell. Come back soon, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.